Hey guys, today I'm making a video on how to fix these darn GM Chevy anchors that break. So you could go ahead, you know, last night it basically broke on me after uh, doing some shopping and it just snapped and I said, okay, that's cool. And I think the dealership charges about anywhere for $5 or $7 for the stuff. Um, I'll leave the link below, but if you want to DIY it, you can sure do DIY it as well. So this is why I made this video. So you could DIY and fix it just like that. That's the fixed one. So what you do need is some resin epoxy. I got these five minute ones and you could probably use like other type if you want. I, but these were cheap and I had it for years. I still use those two bottles. You need some sort of dowel or like chopsticks or some sort of material like that. So you could put it into the cavity of um, that anchor and you need a pair of pliers. This is, I just use a pair of diagonal pliers to cut these things with. You need some paper so you can actually, you know, work with that epoxy resin and mix it. And I like five minute resin because it's nice and fast. Of course, you need the broken part. So there's that broken part, the tip, as well as the housing. Um, so to take it off, you basically push it down and turn about uh, 10 to 15 degrees or so, and then it pops out. So it's pretty simple. Sometimes it does take a little, it takes a little pressure. For mine, it, since it was already broken, I just basically shoved a scissor in there and twisted it, and it basically popped out. So, you know, some people just do, use their hands and fingers. If you push too hard, push hard with your fingers and turn it, you can probably take it out. Of course, you know, as you can see, there's a big cavity between that hook or that uh, peg and also the base. There's a, it's just weak, to be honest. It's, it, it could probably hold like two or three pounds of weight. I remember, I don't know, but it was pretty weak. So I got a pair of chopsticks, some chopsticks from a, um, from my to-go food, got the pair of pliers and I basically made a tiny little dowel out of it. This dowel, I'm going to be using that as support so that it could actually hold it. And I basically got my five minute resin. You could try any other ones. I'll leave some links for resin below if you want, but you could just basically use any resin. You even go to like a 99 cent store and get some resin. But for this one, I basically use the resin, put equal amounts of resin on a piece of paper that I'm planning to throw it away anyways, and basically mix it up with another piece of paper that rolled around, that I basically made it into a roll and to basically mix it. So it sets pretty quick. So what I did was I, I did fill that cavity up with the resin. Then I placed a um, that dowel I made, the makeshift dowel out of a chopstick into it and let it sit for a while and absorb. And then I basically put more resin and filled up the entire cavity with resin and that dowel. So this should be super strong compared to um, just the normal one if you bought a new one. So there you have it. It just looks just like the new one, except it has a little you know fracture on it. But I'm glad that it snapped pretty cleanly. So when I put it back, it should be cool. Um, I basically put it back within like, um, after a couple of hours of leaving it uh, to, to set and dry and in the sun. So it fit and it works good. So the tent, I just put back the tent, so it's all good. So if you do have a Chevy Vote or a Chevy or some other GM car that has this, I hope this video helps you. And I hope that, you know, it solves some of these questions that people probably have about it. So please like, subscribe, and, you know, to my channel. I will make some more DIYs, mostly about my Chevy Vote. My, it's a 2017 Chevy Vote, and it's part of the Chevy Vote vlog, but this is just a, you know, this could have happened to any GM car that actually has these um, luggage um, carrier things. Anyways, like, subscribe, leave some comments below. See you next time. Bye-bye.